Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net, and welcome to another exciting tutorial on the Pro Scores DVD. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is designing abstract sound for motion graphics or for movies. You'll be interested to know that not all music has like a melody and drums. It can actually be very abstract and strange, frankly. So let's take a quick look at this example which I created. Kind of gives you an idea on what we're going to be doing. So there's a lot of different sounds going on. There's abstract sounds, there's, you know, weird melodies and things. And that's what makes a cool kind of abstract score. So we're going to go ahead and start from some of the editorial stuff. And, you know, we just want to experiment. And that's what Pro Scores is about. There's going to be millions of combinations of cool things that you can create. And you just have to uh, take some time get familiar with the elements and uh, have at it. Okay, into the editorial. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these progressive tracks. So that's a pretty cool track. Let's bring that in. So drag it right into Vegas and That's cool. That sounds like, uh, you know, someone's coming behind you with a knife or something. So, like that. That's cool. It's got some weird sounds in it. We'll, uh, we'll definitely use that. And maybe uh, some stabbing hits. Who knows? Probably want to turn this down. That's kind of cool. We'll bring that in. All right, I'll bring that in. Okay. I may reverse the clips. I mean, there's tons of things that we can do. I just want to find uh, some things that sound weird, and uh, those are the ones we want to use. Okay, so we'll go back to our sound design folder, and here we'll find some more weird sounds. And yeah, that's really cool. Some sort of subsonic. It's like uh, someone got pushed down on a basketball court. It's good. That's cool too. So we'll just bring some of these out, maybe some of the bombs here, what do we have? Well, that's cool, knife there. Now there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, we'll check out some of this atmosphere. All right, how about that? Now, we'll go back over to the epic music and the percussion, and let's find something uh, that we can use. Let's see, this dramatic percussion. These are a little slower. So we'll bring that in, and I'll show you what we can do with that in a moment. So here we are. We just brought in a bunch of tracks in, and... We'll go ahead and just start layering some of this in. Maybe I'll start with these drums. Now, I'm not going to use them as is. So here's what they sound like. And there's also another part. Sounds a little bit quicker. So that's cool. Now, I'm going to go into the audio track effects. And we're going to drop out all of the high frequencies and the low frequencies. So 
So now the drums sound a little bit more weird. And that's what we want. We don't want this to sound like anything you've heard. So you want to kind of mix it up. So we'll bring this subsonic hit. Yeah, that's very cool. And we'll check out some of these other sounds. I think this was one of our stabbing hits. All right, that's cool. Let's bring that in here. I'll just drop that here. Let's see what it sounds like reversed. Let's move this over and let's use this to start our abstract score. So you can imagine, you know, you create this cool score and I always like to make my audio or my music track first. Then you bring it into After Effects and you can design a whole series around these different sound effects and, you know, create uh, camera moves and things that you couldn't necessarily make if you were just animating because there isn't a sound effect that triggers that sort of movement and you know not all movements are necessarily fluid you know sometimes they are kind of you know weird and creepy and with sound effects that sound like this I mean you could definitely pull that off sorry if that's a bit loud So anyway, moving on, um, we have some cool, hard, weird hits, and maybe I'll bring in some of this strange atmosphere. Turn that down. And we're going to need some more weird sounds every now and then, because uh, that's, I mean, that's how they do it. We might want to la uh, line up the percussionary stuff with the drum track. So this uh, kind of weird sound here. What we could do is maybe make it seem like voices coming out of the background. And we could maybe just cut a few of the clips out. So I'm just cutting and we'll just kind of remove some of the pieces and we sort of just fade them on real quick and fade them out so we hear just sort of some weird you know people talking in the background or you know whatever it sounds like to you that's what it is again back in the track effects we can drop out all of the low frequencies and so instead you just hear sort of these high high pitch kind of weird sound effects. And we have a track up here. Probably just delete that. I think we have a lot of cool stuff already. Okay, we can close that. And then I might, I'll just close that for now. And then I can take our drum sort of progression and bring it in, maybe a little sooner. Line that up. Make sure drums kind of stay at the right measure and stuff. Okay, so now we're starting to build into a little bit faster paced. And so we'll drag over this weird atmosphere, hold down control, and that makes a copy of it. And that way we can have a little bit of a build up here. So things are uh, things are starting to happen, and probably with the stuff you learned in the previous tutorial, we could, sort of, we could build this up, uh, you know, really intense. What I'm doing is cutting some of the drums out, and then moving my drums over, and that way I can shorten the clip, but still maintain my overall effect. So right here, when the last beat hits. I'm going to cut all the music out, or all the atmosphere, I should say. And then we'll take uh, one of these weird sounds here, and maybe one of these weird subsonic hits. I'm holding down Control again just to drag a copy of it. Copy-paste also works for most other programs. And so 
we have this weird sound. And instead of letting it double itself, we'll just cut the double off and let that build into it so it builds up. And then we end with this sort of subsonic hit. Make sure to fade that track out, so. Might even turn that up and overlap it a little bit more so that it builds uh, a little bit longer. So uh, from the top, you know, we've quickly made a pretty cool sounding track. And remember, the key is layers. You probably want to go back through all the music elements and bring in some different tracks and just have a bunch of crazy stuff going on. All right, we've traced the call. It's coming from inside the house. Okay, so that's a quick way you can create a very cool abstract score. And uh, it didn't take very long at all. And uh, the fun about it is just layering everything in and you know, creating stuff that you know, you've never heard before. Anyway, I'm Andrew Kramer, and we'll see you next time.